Let's discuss the five transporting points. PC3, Cheetah, Marsh, at the crook. Location on the cubital crease on the ulnar side of the bicep tendon between the tendon and the brachial artery. How to find? Place the patient's arm in a relaxed supinated position. This point is best located with the elbow bent and the biceps flexed in order to make the tendon and elbow crease more clearly visible and palpable. PC P3 is located on the cubital crease on the ulnar aspect of the tendon. Also located in the area of the cubital crease, crease are the lung 5 on the radial side of the tendon, LI11 between the radial end of the crease and the lateral epicondyle of the humerus, and heart 3 with the elbow fully flexed at the ulnar end of the cubital crease. Needling 0.5 to 1 tune vertically or prick to cause bleeding of the vein. Caution, brachial artery, vein, palpate for the pulse before needling. Actions indications, clears heat, drains fire. Harmonizes the stomach and intestine, stops vomiting, opens the channel, alleviates pain. Special features, Hussey point, water point, important local point, and important point to drain heat. For heat, Condition, apply bloodletting. Clear seat and post blood, fibril disease at the nutritive chi or blood level, agitation, mental restlessness, delirium, cold hands, fever at night, dry mouth, coughing or vomiting of blood macules. It harmonizes the stomach and subdues rebellious chi in vomiting, nausea, epigastric pain. It moves chi and blood in the chest in heart pain, palpitation, feeling of tightness below the heart. It also calms the mind in fright, anxiety, mental restlessness. It extinguishes the interior wind in tremors of the hand or head paralysis of the arm. It also invigorates blood and eliminates stasis. P3 clears heat at the nutritive chi and blood level of the four-level pattern identification in the late stages of fibril diseases with a macular rush and convulsion. Its cooling blood action makes this point useful for skin diseases from blood heat. P3 stimulates the descending of stomach chi and is used for to subdue rebellious stomach chi, manifesting with nausea and vomiting. Besides cooling blood, it also invigorates blood and elim eliminates stasis. It is therefore useful in chronic condition of blood heat when the heat over a long period of time congeals the blood and causes stasis. It is used for blood stasis primarily in the chest. Finally, P3 can also be used to calm the mind when there is severe anxiety caused by heart fire. According to the Chinese, to the classic of difficulties, the Hussey point treat counterflow chi. And drinking, select the Hussey point. These theories are clearly illustrated by the P3, which has the function of harmonizing the stomach and intestine and stomach and stopping vomiting and diarrhea, especially when there are acute and due to pathogenic heat. It is also worth noting that the interior pathway of the pericardium channel descends through the diaphragm to the lower abdomen connecting the upper, middle, and lower jaw, which helps to explain the powerful action of this point uh, on these disorders. The dual action of P3 in harmonizing the stomach and intestine and clearing pathogenic heat makes it particularly suitable for treating diseases due to summer heat, heat stroke, or sunstroke, characterized by fever, sweating, vomiting, and diarrhea. Water point, healthy point, antique autumn point. A marsh is fertile place, at least in rice cultivating countries. This water point can calm and cool the fire if it is raging out of control, where the patient is hot, anxious, restless, agitated, or manic. As the water point, it can be used for transferring chi across the case cycle from the kidneys, 
Consider for fear of meeting people, local point for macular pain in the arm or elbow. As the water point on a fire meridian, it can clear and cools heat and is often used for skin eruptions due to heat. It opens the heart orifices, promoting resuscitation, moves blood stasis. The pericardium pathway passes through the stomach region. PC3 is indicated for use with stomach disorders, in this case particularly where the heat is involved. It also, it is also the Hussey point and Hussey point are indicated for rebellious chi and diarrhea. Thank you for your attention. Now let's discuss the points of the eye system. The eye system is described in chapter 80 of the spiritual axis, which says the essence and chi of the five yin and six yang organs ascends to the eyes to give clarity of vision. It communicates with many channels, constituting an eye system, which ascends to the vertex and enters the brain to then surface at the occiput. Therefore, when pathogenic factors enter the occiput due to a deficiency of blood, they penetrate this pathway to the eye system into the brain. This causes the brain to revolve in a tightness of the eye system. So this is the course, or this is the pathway of the eye system. The eye system is closely connected to the yang channels of the face. Indeed, four yang channels begin or end around the orbit of the eye, the bladder, stomach, triple burner, and gallbladder. Through the eye system, these four yang channels enter the brain, even though the main channels are not described as entering the brain. Indeed, many modern Chinese books translate eye system as optic nerve. Although this is a reductionist view of the eye system, it certainly influences the optic nerve. An important implication of this is that treatment of these four yang channels is essential to treat pathologies of the optic nerve. Another implication of the eye system is that the beginning and end points of these four yang channels, that is bladder one, stomach one, TB23 and GB1, all influence the brain, the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. The connection between these points and the brain explains their use in various pathologies, such as dizziness, tinnitus, and mental emotional problems. Three groups of points, all from yang channels, influence the eye system, and they are as follows. The periorbital points of eye system, the temporal points of eye system, and the occipital points of the eye system. Periorbital points include bladder 1, bladder 2, GB1, TB23, stomach 1, yuya, extra point in the middle of the eyebrow. Temporal, GB4, GB5, GB6, GB7. GB5 is the most important as it is in direct connection with the brain, stomach 8. Occipital points are DU16, bladder 10, and GB20. Since it is at this point that the eye system enters the brain, they can be used for brain disorders, neurological disorders, and mental illness, such as epilepsy, convulsions, mental illness. The eight extraordinary vessels, especially the governing vessel, yin and yang, stepping vessels, and the yang linking vessel, enter the brain and connect with the eye system. So here is a very intricate figure of the eye system and yin and yang stepping vessels, the yin and yang chow mai. The eye system starts from the eye. It is connected to the channels of bladder, stomach, triple burner, gallbladder around the eye, communicates with the brain, emerges at the occiput. It crosses three yang channels, that is the governing vessel, bladder and gallbladder on the occiput. The eye system is connected to the extraordinary vessels, governing vessel, yin and yang, stepping vessels, and the yang linking vessel. Its points are used for neurological, brain, and mental disorders. Points of the eye system include bladder one, bladder two, 
GB1, TB23, stomach 1, Yu Yao, an extra point in the middle of the eyebrow. GB4, GB5, GB6, GB7. GB5 is the most important as it is in direct connection with the brain. Stomach 8, 216, bladder 10, GB20. Thank you for your attention. Let's discuss the extra point. T men, T gate, EXCA, P gen, fullness root, EXB4. Location, three tune lateral to the anterior midline and two tune superior to the upper border of the pubic symphysis. How to find the distance between the center of the umbilicus and the upper border of the pubic symphysis is divided into five proportional tune, which can vary considerably from the patient's finger tune. Therefore, only proportional tune measurement should be used. Helpful device, elastic tape. From the upper border of the pubic symphysis, measure two tune in a cranial direction. Ren four, and from there, measure three tune in a lateral direction. There, locate Chiman. Located on the same level are a kidney 13.5 tune lateral to the midline, EXCA 1 tune lateral to the midline, stomach 28, 2 tune lateral to the midline, and EXCA 4 tune lateral to the midline. GB27 is located medial to the ASIS approximately on the same level. Needling vertically 0.5 to 1 tune, caution, peritoneum pregnancy. Actions indications. Mitoragia, female infertility, arthritis, urinary tract these infections, persistent luchial discharge. EXB4, fullness root, feed gen, location 3.5 tune lateral to the posterior midline on the level of the lower border of the spinous process of the first lumbar vertebra, L1. How to find locate the T7 on and count down six spinous processes to L1. Locate EXB4 on the level of the lower border of its spinous process. 3.5 tune lateral to the midline. Use the Taffier's line L4 to confirm the location of this point. From L4, count up the spinous processes of L3 to L1. Located on the same level are two five on the midline, a point of EXB2, bladder 22, bladder 51. On the 0.5 to 1.5 to 3 tune lateral to the midline, as well as GB25 on the lower border of the free end of the 12 rib. Needling 0.8 to 1 tune obliquely in a bigel direction. Caution injury to the kidneys. Actions indications improve the chi flow between the upper and middle burner. Emulate, eliminates local chi and blood stagnation. P gen location 3.5 tune lateral to the lower border of the spinous process of the first lumbar vertebra. Indication hepatosplenin splenomegaly lumbar pain. Method puncture perpendicularly 0.5 to 0.8 inch. Moxibustion is applicable. Thank you for your attention. Now let's discuss triple burner six, Chico branching ditch. TB6 is located three tune proximal to the dorsal wrist joint space, the dorsal wrist crease. In a depression between the radius and the ulna, radial to the tendon of the extensor digitorum communis muscle. How to find, uh, as the location of the dorsal wrist crease varies, the wrist joint space should be used for orientation instead. By moving the patient's wrist in a relaxed way, the joint space becomes more easily palpable. From the joint space, measure three tune in a proximal direction. At this point, the extensor digitorum communis muscle will often lie midway between the ulna and the radius. TB6 is located in a depression close to the border of the radius on the radial side of the muscle. Located on the same level is TB7 in a depression mid 
between the ulna and the extensor digitorum communis muscle. P5 is also located on this level, but on the anterior aspect of the forearm. Needling 0.5 to 1.5 soon, slightly obliquely towards the ulna or obliquely in a proximal elbow or distal wrist direction or through needling to P5. Caution movement of the hand arm during needle retention may cause bending of the needle. Actions indications, regulates the chi, clears heat in the triple burner, benefits the lateral costal region, promotes bowel movements, benefits the voice, opens the channel. Special features, Ching River Point, Far Point, Pen Point, Five Faces. TB6 regulates chi and benefits the chest and costal region, pain in the costal region on the lateral side, abdominal pain, chest pain, feeling of oppression of the chest, clears heat in the head, redness and heat of the face, febrile disease, sudden loss of voice, redness, swelling and pain of the eyes, swelling and pain of the throat, benefits the large intestine, constipation, removes obstructions from the channel, pain in the axilla, pain in the shoulder and arm, painful obstruction syndrome, P syndrome of the elbow, tremor of hand, paralysis of arm, numbness of hand, expels wind, skin rashes from wind and heat, regulates the directing vessel. The Sun Jiao theory divides the body into three regions. The upper jaw, the area above the diaphragm, the middle jaw, the area between the diaphragm and the umbilicus, and the lower jaw, the area below the umbilicus. San Jiao 6, the Jing River and Fire Point of the San Jiao Channel, is the most important point on the San Jiao Channel for moving qi and clearing heat in these three areas. According to the Song of the Primary Points of the 14 Channels, San Jiao 6 is able to drain ministerial fire from the three jiao. Ministerial fire, the prime mouth fire of the body, which has its root in the mingman and kidneys, is entrusted to the liver, gallbladder, and san jiao. The quotation emphasizes the clinical importance of SJ6 in clearing heat throughout the body and especially resolving stagnant heat of the liver and gallbladder. According to the spiritual pivot, the Jing River points should be needled when there are diseases manifesting in the patient's voice, and San Jiao 6 is an important point and included in the number of classical combinations for sudden loss of voice. San Jiao 6 is indicated for various channel disorders affecting the whole upper limb, axilla, shoulder, and back, including tremors, trembling, and numbness of the hand. In current practice, it is often combined with GB39 in the treatment of wandering painful obstruction. Fire point, Harari point, 9 to 11 p.m., seasonal Harari point, summer, Jing River, antique late summer point. As the fire point within the fire official, triple heater six enlivens the meridian and regulates heat in all three jiao, and thus in all the officials. If there is too little fire, water can flow unchecked, resulting in swollen and puffy limbs or difficulty in communicating with others. If the fire is excessive, one can be brash, full of oneself, or exhibit a burning ego. It can also result in urticaria, psoriasis, or angina. This point can reveal the true nature of the official and help return the patient to a more mature and appropriate level of behavior. Sanja regulates the ditches, sluices, and waterways, which are the vital pathways of the communication network within the kingdom. Thank you for listening. Let's discuss the heart channel, sinew channel. Pathway, the heart sinew channel begins on the radial aspect of the little finger, continues along the anterior and radial aspect of the little finger and the hand, binds at the pisiform bone at heart seven, ascends the anterior and ulnar aspect of the forearm, binds at the medial epicondyle at heart 3 and continues to the axillary region where it meets the long sinew channel, binds in the axilla and meets the other hand gene sinew channel near GB22. From here, it continues at the deeper level, crosses the thoracic region, 
binds at the trend 17, descends to the upper cardiac orifices, penetrates the diaphragm, and terminates in the umbilical region. Clinical importance, pathology, stiffness, cramps, and pain along the pathway of the heart sinew channel. Internal cramping in the cardiac region, for example, disorders with angina-like pain due to stress, hiatal hernia, and disorders of the stomach. Indication mainly for P syndrome, painful obstruction syndrome along the pathway of the heart channel. The area covered by the heart sinew channel is larger than the cover that covered by the heart primary channel. This explains why the heart primary channel points can also be used for disorders and diseases of the thorax and the chest. For example, pain and tightness of the chest, mastitis, and mastopathy. Since the heart sinew channel also penetrates the diaphragm, it is also indicated for disorders such as hiccups, acid reflux, and esophagitis. Due to its connection with the umbilical region, the heart sinew channel has a direct link to the original qi, U1 qi. If the heart shen has suffered a shock, for example, due to fainting or collapse, direct moxibustion, REN8, can be very helpful. The heart has five principal functions, governing the blood and blood vessels, housing the spirit, opening into the tongue, governing sweating, manifesting in the complexion, it is by virtue of these functions and the channel pathways listed above that many of the actions and indications of the points of the heart channel can be explained. This can be summarized as treating pain of the chest and heart and disorders of the heart treat them. According to the essential functions, all blood pertains to the heart and the heart dominates the blood vessels of the body. The chi of the heart and lungs which, with which the heart channel connects dominates the gathering chi and the circulation of the blood through the chest as well as the rhythmical beating of the heart. All the points of the heart channel with the exception of Ching Ling Heart 2 therefore treat either pain of the heart and chest or palpitation and other disorders of the heart treat them. Acute pain of the heart and chest may radiate along the heart channel in the left arm down to the abdomen, heart primary and sinus channel or up to the throat, heart primary, and divergent channels. In current clinical practice, points of the pericardium channel are mostly favored for pain of the chest and heart, while disorders of the heart rhythm are treated by selecting points from both channels. Regulating and calming the spirit, according to the spirit pipe pivot, the heart controls the vessels. The vessels are the residence of the spirit. While the essential question says the heart stores the spirit. Points of the heart channel, especially heart 5 and Shenmen heart 7, are among the most important of the acupuncture point to harmonize and calm the spirit. Whether it loses its harmony due to deficiency and consequent lack of nourishment to agitation by heart and fire as to being obscured by phlegm. Treating disorders of the tongue and speech, including loss of voice, stiffness of the tongue, and painful and swollen tongue. Treating disorders of the throat, such as pain, swelling, and congestion. Treating disorders of the eyes, in addition to the heart channel, continues to the eyes. This may be explained by the fact that the heart belongs to sovereign fire, and the points of the heart channel may be used to clear heat from any part of the body. In the case of the eyes, manifesting as redness, swelling, and pain. Treating various disorders of the face and complexion, thus, for example, Madan Yang says of heart seven when excess, the head, cheeks, and face are red. Then deficiency, uh, when deficient, there is an expressionless face. Thank you for your attention. Let's discuss heavenly star point so modern young this time we talk about bladder 40 way Tsung, middle of the crook and bladder 57 chung shan supporting mountain bladder 40 is located in the center of the popliteal crease between the tendons of the biceps femoris and semitendinosus muscles how to find the this point is best located with the patient's knee slightly flexed 
located center of the popliteal crease, a pulse may be palpate, palpable, and there locate bladder 40. Located on the same level are bladder 39, one soon, laterally, kidney 10, more medially between the tendons of the semimembranosus and semitendinosus muscles, and liver 8, more medially anterior to the tendons of the semimembranosus and semitendinosus muscles. Needling, vertically 0.5 to 1.5 soon. Caution, popliteal nerve, artery and vein lie deep to this point. Use moxibustion with caution, contraindicated according to some authors. To clear heat and eliminate stasis, bleed the superficial veins, possibly followed by brief cupping. Caution, only used for excess conditions and in constitutionally robust patients. Bladder 40 is also indicated as a distal point for the lower back. Needle with the patient standing. For safety and balance, use a treatment couch or chair as a support for the hands and ask them to move their lower back gently while manipulating the needle, only short needle retention. When needling this point with the patient in a prone position, place a supporting roll or pillow under the ankles to relax the popliteal crease. Actions, indications, bladder 40 clears summer heat, stops vomiting and diarrhea, cools the blood, benefits the lower back and knees, opens the channel and luo vessels, alleviates pain. Special features, Hussey point, earth point, lower Hussey point of the bladder, Madan Yang heavenly star point, Kawu command point of the lumbar region, Important distal point for the lower back, point with a wide range of indications. Bladder 40 clears heat and cools blood, removes obstructions from the channel. For lower back ache, sciatica, stiffness of the lower back knee pain. Clear summer heat, injury by summer heat, fever, aversion to cold, sweating, headache, a feeling of heaviness, an uncomfortable sensation in the epigastrium, irritability, thirst. Bladder 40 is the Hersey point of the bladder channel and has long been considered one of the most important of the acupuncture points. According to Madan Yang, the great physician of the Qing dynasty, bladder 40 is one of the 11 heavenly star points indicated for lumbar pain with inability to straighten up, severe lumbar pain that radiates up the back with pain and stiffness of the sinews and bones, wind painful obstruction that frequently recurs, and difficulty in stretching and bending the knee. The Ming Dynasty author, Kao Wu, in the Glorious Anthology of Acupuncture and Moxie Bastion, included it among his four command points with a special action in the treatment of lumbar pain. Sun Si Miao in the Thousand Ducat Formulas says of bladder 40, pain of the lumbar region and spine that almost reaches the head. In any case of heaviness and pain of the lumbar region and leg, bleed this point. Earth point, Hosi antique autumn point, lower Hosi point of bladder, greater assembly point of the back and vertebrae, a modern young heavenly star point, accumulation point of blood. This important point can bring stability and equilibrium to an anxious, disorientated, or fearful person. It is effective for controlling the blood along with bladder 43, bladder 38, can have a direct effect on the spine as a whole along with bladder 60 and is helpful after osteopathic manipulations can either free rigidity in the spine, so you sedate, or tighten it up, tonify, for urinary troubles and night sweats. For disorders due to poor circulation, for example, hemorrhoids, consider for knee problems, lower back ache, urticaria, arthritic knees, swollen feet, or loss of head hair, great balancer of fluids. Bladder 57 is located in the middle of the cough between the two heads of the gastrocnemius muscle, on a line connecting bladder 40 and bladder 60, approximately eight soon distal to bladder 40. How to find? Slide along the dorsal aspect of the Achilles tendon in a superior direction until you can feel the depression between the two bellies of the gastrocnemius muscle. This will become more defined when the patient's muscles are flexed or spreading hands technique. Place the little fingers on bladder 40 center of the popliteal crease and bladder 60. Depression between the Achilles tendon and the highest prominence of the lateral malleolus. The midpoint of this distance where the thumbs meet marks the location of bladders 57. 
located on the same level on the anterior lateral aspect of the lower leg are stomach 38, one finger width lateral to the tibia, and stomach 40, two finger breadths lateral to the tibia. Needling vertically or obliquely, 1 to 1.5 soon. Actions, indications, relaxes the muscles and tendons, opens the channel, eliminates hemorrhoids, the pathway of the bladder divergent channel. Special features, modern young heavenly star point, important local point with distal effect on the lumbar and anal region. Bladder 57 relaxes the sinews and removes obstructions from the channel. Pain and stiffness of the lower back, sciatica, difficulty in sitting and standing, inability to stand for a long time, contracture of sinews. Treats hemorrhoids, bleeding hemorrhoids, swollen and painful hemorrhoids, prolapse of rectum. Bladder 57 was included by Madan Yang, the great physician of the Jin dynasty, among the 11 heavenly star points. His grouping of the most vital acupuncture points. Clinically, Bladder 57 is used in three principal situations. Hemorrhoids, contraction and pain of the cough, and heel pain. The bladder divergent channel winds around the anal region. Classically, Bladder 57 has been regarded as the primary distal point in the treatment of all kinds of hemorrhoids. For example, the song to keep up your sleeve says, for the ty five types of hemorrhoids due to hot blood, select bladder 57 and await disappearance of the disease without a trace. Will Smadan Yang recommends it for hemorrhoids and difficulty in defecation. As a major point for muscle cramps, this point can free up the chi and relax the sinews. For swollen and bleeding hemorrhoids, feelings of heat in the head, lumbago, sciatica, rectal prolapse, or for pain in the sole of the foot and heel, strengthens the legs and spine, said to be helpful in cases where there is no pleasure in eating or conversely, a tendency towards gluttony. Thank you for your attention. Let's discuss the San Simiao ghost point. Do 16... Fang Fu, Palace of Wind. Location on the posterior midline directly below the external occipital protuberance in the depression between the origins of the trapezius muscle. How to find the external occipital protuberance is a hump-shaped projection on the posterior surface of the occipital bone on the midline and slightly superior to the craniocervical junction. Locate do 16 in the in a depression on the posterior midline that can be palpated directly inferior to the protuberance and between the two origins of the trapezius muscle. Generally, do 16 is located approximately one tune superior to the posterior hairline. GB20 is located on the same level below the occiput in a depression between the origins of the trapezius and sternocleidomastoid muscle. Needling. 0.5 to 1 tune slightly obliquely in an inferior direction. Bend the patient's head slightly forward when needling. Caution, dangerous point with deep, deep needling. No stimulation. Strictly no needling in a superior direction. Danger of puncturing the cerebellum medullary cistern. Also site for a suboccipital puncture. The needle should be inserted into the nuptial ligament. According to, this, to some authors, some exhibition is contraindicated. Actions indications dispel external wind, comes internal wind and the shen, nourishes the sea of marrow, lightens the shen. Special features meeting point with Yang Wei Mai and according to some authors, the Yu Kiao Mai, sea of marrow point, window of heaven point, Sun Si Miao ghost point. Used for all disorders which are caused by external or internal wind and which are characterized by sudden onset, changing location and or intensity of the disorder in voluntary movements. It extinguishes interior wind in epistotonus, apatia, from wind stroke, wind stroke, hemiplegia. Spells external wind, aversion to cold, fever, body aches, occipital stiffness, and headache. It nourishes marrow and benefits the brain in headache, dizziness, tinnitus, blurred vision. 
It also comes the mind, opens the mind's orifices, manic behavior, desire to commit suicide, sadness, fear. Do 16 eliminates both the exterior and interior wind. It can therefore be used for exterior attacks of wind, cold, or wind heat, as well as for patterns of interior wind, such as in wind stroke, epilepsy, or severe giddiness. Its capacity in eliminating wind in general makes it a very important point to relieve headaches from liver yang, rising, liver wind, liver fire, and acute headaches from exterior wind. Its action in treating headache is also partly due to its points being a point of the eye system which emerges from the brain at do 16. Do 16 is a point of the sea marrow. Marrow fills up the brain and this point can either clear, clear the mind and stimulate the brain. The burning vessel enters the brain at do 16 which is also said to mark its lower border while another branch of the vessel passes through the heart. Do 16 is therefore indicated for various mental disorders such as mania, incessant talking with inability to rest, mad walking, and desire to commit suicide, as well as sadness and fear with fright palpitations. It was included under this alternative name, Ghost Pillow by Sun Miao in his 13 Ghost Points for the treatment of mania disorder and epilepsy. Window of the sky point of the sea of Marrow, ghost point, crossing point of Dumai, and Yang Wei, my linking vessel. This point is effective in treating the patient at the spirit level, can clear the head and bring perspective to their life and aid in and aid the integration of body, mind, spirit. Helps the patient to hear and see with enhanced clarity. As a sea of marrow point in combination with do 15, 19, 20, do 16 can nourish the brain and the senses. This is a window of sky point. It is suggested that the practitioner consider treating window points on the CF first before using this point to gauge its response. Kung Fu is one of the ghost points. Its location on the pre predominantly young Dumai at this place of entry to the brain with its stimulating effect on the mind and spirit makes it a great point to restore someone to full consciousness and strength. Thank you for your attention. Now let's talk about uh, constipation, uh, specifically yang deficiency pattern. Clinical manifestations of yang deficiency Difficulty in defecation, exhaustion and sweating after defecation, stools not dry, sore back and knees, feeling cold, frequent pale urination. Tongue is pale and wet, pulse deep and weak. This is a pattern of mostly kidney yang deficiency. Normally, when kidney yang is deficient, the stools are loose. However, it may also have the opposite effect. When the deficient kidney yang fails to move qi in the intestines and the bowels do not move. When kidney yang is deficient, internal cold results and this contracts the muscles in the lower burner, again impairing the normal bowel peristalsis. Treatment principle, tonify the kidneys, warm the lower burner and moisten the intestines. Points, stomach 36, spleen 6, bladder 23, kidney 7, Bladder 25, REN4, reinforcing method, MOXA should be used. Stomach 36 and spleen 6 with MOXA on the needle, tonify yang. Stomach 36 promotes bowel movement. Bladder 23 and kidney 7 tonify kidney yang. Direct MOXA may be used on bladder 23. Bladder 25 stimulates the intestines and promotes the bowel movement. REN4 with direct MOXA tonifies kidney yang and the original chi. So we have a case history of a 61-year-old woman who had been suffering from persistent constipation for many years. She had only about two bowel movements a week, but her stools were not dry. She often felt exhausted after the bowel movement. Her other symptoms included great weariness and exhaustion, feeling cold, lack of willpower, and spirit of initiative backache, dizziness, and tinnitus. Her tongue was pale and swollen, and her pulse was deep and weak. 
This patient suffered from kidney yang deficiency, which was also the cause of the constipation. The symptoms of kidney yang deficiency are backache, dizziness, tinnitus, a cold feeling, exhaustion, and uh, pale swollen tongue. Her lack of willpower and initiative was also due to the deficiency of kidney yang and its mental aspect, the willpower. Treatment principle, treat, the principle adopted was to tonify and warm kidney yang and moisten the intestines. She was treated with both acupuncture and herbs. The main acupuncture points used with reinforcing method included stomach 36 with moxa to tonify qi and yang and move the stools, ren 4 and bladder 23 to tonify kidney yang, spleen 15 to move the stools, spleen 6 and kidney 3 to tonify the kidneys and move the stools. Thank you all for listening.